The 17 News at Noon podcast is brought to you by Clinica Sierra Vista. Welcome back to 17 News at Noon podcast, where we share your news on your schedule. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for 17 News at Noon. I'm Nicole Gitsky. We begin with big news for Californians. Anyone age 16 and up are now eligible to get the vaccine. Governor Gavin Newsom made the announcement a couple weeks ago that all Californians would be eligible for the coronavirus vaccine starting April 15th. That's today. Last week, those 50 and up became eligible to get the shot. Now, the good news for Kern County residents, anyone 16 and up has been eligible for the past couple of weeks to get that vaccine, helping to get more shots into the arms of our residents. The state of California now has the sixth highest administered doses of any nation in the world. The state of California has now administered over 24 million doses of vaccine. Governor Newsom says we are starting to see light at the end of the tunnel. Now every county in the state is out of the most restrictive purple tier. And Kern County officially entered the orange tier yesterday, but with the hope on the horizon, we are continuing to learn how deadly the virus has been. Public Health announced five deaths today. We have learned of our first death in April. Now February is now our third deadliest month, deadlier than our first surge in the summer. We have lost 1,311 lives to the virus. Also, 57 cases were reported. On average, 45 people are testing positive each day in Kern County, indicating a plateau of positive cases. We have learned of another B117 variant in Kern County, now making it eight total cases. That variant is reportedly 50% more transmissible than COVID-19 alone. And state data shows there are now 49 people in the hospital with COVID-19 and 11 are being treated in the ICU. Well, if you live in Delano, Kaiser Permanente is bringing the vaccines to you. On Saturday, Kaiser will be at the middle school to offer the Moderna vaccine to anyone 18 and older. They will accept walk-ins, but they encourage you to make an appointment because their supply is limited. Just call that number on your screen. That's 412-6701. It's happening from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And one of the easiest ways to sign up to get the vaccine is to go to the state's website, myturn.ca.gov. You can also call that number on your screen. That's 833-422-4255. And if you need a ride to one of those COVID-19 vaccination sites, Golden Empire Transit wants to remind you that some of its bus routes can take you there. For example, Git says routes 21, 22, and 82 will make stop at CSUB, and Route 44 takes you near the Kern County Fairgrounds. Git also has on-demand curb-to-curb services, on-demand paratransit and fix routes that can help you get to your vaccination site. For more information, call GIT at 869-2-GIT. That's 2438. Clinica Sierra Vista is now offering rapid COVID-19 testing and COVID-19 vaccinations. Call 833-278-4584 to make your appointment. But don't delay. Clinica Sierra Vista, putting patients first. All right, making headlines around the nation, Derek Chauvin, the former Minneapolis police officer charged in the death of George Floyd, will not testify in his own defense. Uh, I will invoke my Fifth Amendment privilege today. After Chauvin told Judge Peter Cahill that he would not testify, the jury was brought back to hear rebuttal testimony. The former Minneapolis police officer is charged with murder and manslaughter in the death of George Floyd last May. Court is scheduled to reconvene at 9 o'clock Monday morning for closing arguments and jury instructions. And this morning, local criminal defense attorney David Torres joined us to explain more on this high profile case. Now, so far, George Floyd's heart has been at the center of Derek Chauvin's defense. In the Minneapolis courtroom yesterday, Derek Chauvin's lawyers tried to build their case that it wasn't the former police officer, but George Floyd's drug use and heart problems that caused his death. Torres explained that it is not a matter of innocence. It's a matter of beyond a reasonable doubt. There are four elements to make a crime. The prosecution has the, uh, what they must do is they must complete all four elements and show that you committed this act beyond a reasonable doubt. But if they miss an element, you know, whether or not it's intent or some other type of element that you knew or should have known, if they miss that particular element and they don't prove it beyond a reasonable doubt, the jury can find you not guilty. Tor says innocence does not play a role. It's how well the evidence is presented that can dictate that outcome. 
Also making headlines, four congressional Democrats will propose legislation today to expand the U.S. Supreme Court from 9 to 13 justices. The size of the court can be changed by an act of Congress, but increasing the number of seats would face a series of obstacles. They include the fact that Democrats hold slim majorities in both houses of Congress, and many are not on board with the idea. President Biden has said he's not a fan of expanding the court, and Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell has called expanding the court a dangerous, antiquated idea. Now in your 17 Crime Watch, police are investigating after a possible armed man on a local school campus was arrested. Now, according to the Kern County Sheriff's Office, they received a report around 9 this morning of the man on the McKee Middle School campus. Now, deputies say they found the man, but they could not find a weapon or gun. KCSO arrested the man for trespassing and being under the influence at the time. And now to new information on a deadly shooting in Oil Day last weekend. According to the Kern County Sheriff's Office, it happened Saturday at Sycamore Drive near Plymouth Avenue. When first responders arrived, they found 44-year-old Clay Edward McFall suffering from a gunshot wound. He was pronounced dead at the scene. The Sheriff's Office has not released any more information. If you know anything about this shooting, the Sheriff's Office wants to hear from you. That number is 861-3110. And we've learned the identity of the 17-year-old struck and killed by a train on Sunday. Anthony Lee Terrell Jr., also known as AJ, was pronounced dead at the scene Sunday night. It happened in the area of Santa Fe Way and Renfro Road. When they arrived, a 17-year-old was found dead. The investigation is ongoing. Now in our 17 follow-up file, today marks 115 days since two young boys were reported missing from their home in California City. There has been no sign of three-year-old Orson and four-year-old Orrin West in more than three months. Bakersfield Police Department is not the lead agency in the search for the missing boys, and they have not reported any new developments. If you have any information about these missing boys that might be useful to investigators, you can remain anonymous and call the Secret Witness Hotline. That number is 322-4040. You can find all the latest updates on this story on our website, kget.com. Well, are you ready to teach? Next week, the Kern High School District is holding virtual teacher information nights to meet potential candidates. KHSD says they're hiring over 200 teachers in all subject areas, including special education and career technical education. It's happening on April 20th from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. and again on April 27th. For more information or how to sign up, visit teachbakersfield.com. The 17 News at Noon podcast is a production of KGET and Nexstar Media Group. For more on all of the headlines in today's show, head to KGET.com.